The anesthesia plan for your surgery may involve a regional technique or nerve block. In this video, I'm going to talk about why they are an excellent and popular option to manage pain caused by surgeries of the arms, abdomen, and legs. You probably know that there are many nerves in your body and all throughout your body that sense and tell your brain that you are experiencing pain. Without a doubt, surgery can be painful. In regional anesthesia, we block this process. We consider where the surgery happened or what area of the body was operated on and with a needle and ultrasound machine, inject numbing medication right where the nerve or nerves are. The numbing medication temporarily blocks pain signals to the brain. It is excellent because it is targeted pain relief right where you need it. And a single injection can block the pain for up to almost a full day. Please note that we perform these blocks with confidence using ultrasound. The ultrasound waves with the help of jelly show us in black and white where your nerves, vessels, and muscles are. And even though things are in black and white, nerves, vessels, and muscles have different IDs that guide us. So from top to bottom, here are the most common nerve blocks we perform. They include the brachial plexus, transversus abdominis plane or tap, saphenous nerve or adductor canal, and the sciatic nerve. The brachial plexus has many nerves and levels we block for different surgeries of the arm, like the rotator cuff. The injection is usually done above the shoulder in the neck area so that pain in the arm does not travel up to the spinal cord and brain. The transversus abdominis plane or tap block is common in surgeries like hysterectomy, exploratory laparotomies, and bowel resections, among others. It is a plane block because we inject medications along where the muscles meet and where the nerves are. Usually, it involves an injection on both sides of your abdomen, and it is safely performed while you are asleep. Next are the lower extremity nerve blocks or the saphenous and sciatic nerve blocks. There are two because one basically covers one half of the leg and the other covers the other half of the leg. So to numb the whole leg, we would have to block both, but that is not always necessary. The saphenous nerve block, also known as the adductor canal block, is commonly used for knee replacement surgery and it is a great option for you to participate in physical therapy without much weakness. If you are having surgery below the knee and foot, it can be combined with the sciatic nerve block to numb the whole lower part of your leg and foot. The sciatic nerve block is used in surgeries involving the outside part of your leg and foot. Thank you for listening and watching this video. I hope that it was educational. Please leave a comment, question, or concern. Like and share where you find it appropriate. Be well and take care.